Hey guys, Adrienne here from About Murals. So I'm at my friend's house today for a housewarming party. They just bought this beautiful new home and I couldn't help but notice this wallpaper seam coming off at the wall. So I thought I would do a quick impromptu video teaching you how to fix wallpaper seams that have come off the wall. So stay tuned for some tips. Here's a list of the tools I use for this wallpaper repair. You can take a screenshot or photo to save you time writing your own list. If you hung pre-pasted wallpaper, stick through to the end of this video. I'm going to share a quick little tip that might save you a little bit of money, but the process that I'm going to teach you today should work on almost every wall covering. Now I prefer using the wallpaper repair paste in the tubes. I find it goes on a little bit thinner. Um, if you have old wallpaper paste hanging around in the, the big gallon tubs, I find that when you use that underneath a uh, wallpaper seam, it goes on thicker and it can almost leave a lump where the wallpaper seam is. So I find that these gives a better effect and you're not gonna get a little lump where the seam is. So it's hard to fix a wallpaper seam when the paper is brittle. You can hear that because it's very dry. You don't wanna rip it. So um, the first step in fixing a wallpaper seam is getting the wallpaper a little bit wet. So I use a wet rag. I just go over the wallpaper seam with a wet rag maybe for even a couple minutes and just let some of the water penetrate the paper so that it becomes more pliable and easy to manage. Uh, some wallpaper installers use a steamer to add moisture to the wallpaper. So that's an option as well, but I don't think everybody has one of those at home. So you can just use a wet rag and just make sure that the water penetrates through the paper. Okay, the next step in repairing the wallpaper seam is actually getting the glue on the wall. In my opinion, there's two ways to do this. You can either apply it with a paintbrush or straight from the tube. It depends on how much the wallpaper is pulling away from the wall. If it's just pulling away just a little bit, you don't want to go and stick this tube right in it because it could rip the wallpaper. The nozzle's quite thick, so if, if you're trying to get it right, right in there, it could rip it. And so I find that using just a little craft um, paintbrush, a flat paintbrush is the best. I just dip it in the paste and get right under and just gently add the paste like that. But because this wallpaper is pulling away quite substantially from the wall today, I'm gonna add the glue right from the tube. Once the glue is on the wall, I like to flatten it out using the wet rag again. Ultimately, always wallpaper paste comes out of the seams. So I use the wet rag first to gently apply it to the wall and wipe the excess off the front of the paper because it could stain if, it, if too much gets out and you don't clean it in time. So I do that and then I use my wallpaper smoother and I go over just to make sure that it's nice and flat and snug on the wall. I've seen some installers use the smoother first, but I find that you do that and it, it pulls the paste out onto the wall and uh, on the front of the wallpaper it can stain. So I, I tend to use my rag first and then just go over it like this. And then I always, of course, wipe it afterwards again. And you might find that the seams just won't lay flat. They just, you know, you've tried this process and they just keep popping back up. Uh, that could be because uh, they've been curling for so long that they're just stuck in that position. The paper, the memory of the paper is curled. So in that case, you may need to use a steamer or a heat gun. I'm not going to do that in this video, but I'm going to rely on the uh, installers who follow my YouTube channel um, to comment in the comments below to help the DIYers. So read through the comments. I'm sure there will be lots of great tips on using those tools if you need to, to do that process for your wallpaper seams. So if you hung pre-pasted wallpaper and have any scraps left over whatsoever, I can teach you how to do this process without having to purchase this little tube of wallpaper paste. So click this video and watch this, and I hope this video helped you out a little bit. Thanks for watching.